At first sight, the resort of Cerro Catedral, high up in the Andes, is much like any other ski resort. It has a pretty village at the bottom of the slopes. The skiers and boarders have all the latest gear and equipment, and they mill around in much the same way, preparing for a day on the slopes. But, for those of us who've travelled all the way from Europe, it has a different feel to it, and a certain South American magic. It's taken me over 36 hours to get here from Europe, which is a bit of a long way to come for a ski, but the conditions here are fantastic at the moment. We had about two metres of fresh snow just a few days ago. So, let's go and see what it's like. The resort has 39 lifts, 120 kilometres of marked runs, endless off piece and views to die for. You don't see panoramas like this in the Alps. At the top, it's even better, from craggy rocks slightly resembling the Dolomites to intimidating and remote peaks. In the distance is the Chilean border and an active volcano. When Mount Pugliado rumbles, they have to close the local airport in case it erupts. Out on the slopes, there's a wide variety of skiing, with a few people from the northern hemisphere, but most are locals, or the rich from Buenos Aires or neighbouring Brazil. Cerro Catedral is the biggest ski resort in South America and has seen business rise by 40% in the last five years with over £5 million spent on new lifts and facilities. It seems to have paid off with plans for more hotels in the pipeline as skiing becomes more and more popular. Wow, here. that was amazing. I'm not quite sure what I expected from skiing in Argentina, but it certainly exceeded what I thought it would be. There's some great runs here, not as big as some of the European resorts, but there's a huge variety of terrain. And hey, I'm in the Andes. Others out enjoying the conditions are a group of trainee ski instructors. They're on a 10-week course with the British company Peak Leaders, who specialise in running gap year courses throughout the world. It's actually a relatively developed resort. It's, uh, it's got all the modern amenities, it's got shops, all layers of gear, uh, bars, restaurants. Uh, it's a little more remote in the middle of uh, South America, in the Andes. The, uh, the views are absolutely spectacular. Uh, I think some of the best views I've ever seen while skiing. The resort has plenty of off-piste opportunities and good free-ride terrain if you have the skills. And some steep runs are easily accessible. There's more than enough challenges for advanced skiers. And one thing you must not miss out on here is a steak, or any other sort of meat come to that. A meal costs around £15, with the most fabulous steak and wine you can ask for. Fantastic. Cheers. Apre ski is much like in Europe, with plenty of bars and clubs. This is one, the South Bar, and is popular with Europeans and South Americans alike. There's a whole host of other activities to do here. An afternoon out kayaking after a morning on the slopes is just one of them, and comes highly recommended by me. There's climbing, paraponting and trekking up in the mountains too. Or, if you want something a bit more relaxing, well, lying around in the sun seems a pretty popular South American pastime. The resort has a good terrain park too, with some gentle rails and some decent kickers and jumps. There's no getting away from it though, it's a long way to come for a ski holiday, but many combine this with a visit to Buenos Aires, a few days in Chile, or a visit to the glaciers and national parks further south. For me, I just wanted to ski in the Andes. It's like nowhere else on earth.